Hello to my Scorpio family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and I want to wish you all a happy new year. Now, this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the new year of 2022 for January 3rd through the 9th. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe and join me daily for my quick glance daily readings. Now, these are general readings, Scorpio, so I'm picking up the Scorpio energy in a general sense. So take what resonates and leave the rest. So let's take a look at your cards for the week ahead. First card, Six of Chalices. Next, King of Pentacles. And... The wheel. All right, Scorpio, we'll get to your other cards in a little bit, but first. All right, Scorpio. So what I'm really picking up is that for this week, you need to really trust in your own intuition. There's kind of an energy here of just kind of let go and release trying to control how the outcome of things. Release the control of what you're going after. You have to just kind of project, like set your intentions of what it is you want and then trust that everything will like fall into place. This is a week where you're going to get clarity. You're going to see the truth and know what it is you want to pursue. Your luck is changing. Your financial situation can be changing. But again, I feel this is all based on following your true, authentic self, Scorpio. So let's now take a look at each of your cards. And you first have the Six of Chalices or the Six of Cups. And this could possibly be someone from your past showing up. Or you're getting this idea, maybe to contact an old friend. Could be you're looking to change your occupation and you're in the process of what I feel is networking. And you're going to come across either an old friend or an old colleague. Someone's going to show up this week and possibly lend a hand. Also, with the Six of Cups showing up, it's a reminder to show some kindness, generosity to others, especially to people who are worse off than yourself, Scorpio. Random acts of kindness are what I'm picking up with this Six of Cups showing up for you. Doesn't have to be anything huge. Something as simple as holding the door for someone, especially if their arms are full. So Six of Cups is primarily showing like your generosity, how you are towards others. Now, Scorpio, this is your card in energy, the Six of Cups. So it's your brand, your identity, your character. So an indication here with this number six energy kicking off your reading that you're trying to spread harmony and balance wherever you go. Kind of like leaving things better than how you found them kind of energy. So let's pull a clarifying card for the Six of Chalices. See if we get any other additional information. But boy, I really love this energy that's kicking off the week for you. The Queen of Pentacles. An indication here to get back to the basics. Keep yourself grounded, Scorpio. Appreciate what you have. Spend some time in nature appreciating what nature has to offer, no matter what season. And yeah, just simply the basics, being kind and generous to others around you. All right, next, the King of Pentacles. And I almost feel like this 
this uh, King of Pentacles is giving a wave to your clarifying card, the Queen of Pentacles, as she is the force, the energy behind the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles for you, Scorpio, could be someone very influential around you, certainly could be a Taurus individual, as that's what the King of Pentacles represents, could be a loving father figure, it could be your boss, it could be how you look at your partner. This represents someone around you that is successful, ambitious, very practical. He's very good at managing his own resources. Very careful, business-minded person. So this could be someone around you this week. And possibly you're really taking notice and having gratitude for this person being in your life, Scorpio. So let's pull a clarifying card and see if we get any other information in regards to the King of Pentacles, which is an earth sign, most likely Taurus. Could be someone that provides for the family, like the breadwinner. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Look. We have a double wheel here with your reading. So definitely, whoever this King of Pentacles is, is bringing in some good luck, good fortune your way, changing things up for you. So with this being the number 10 energy, Scorpio, there's an end of something to do with your finances. Could be if you've been out of work, you're looking for a job. Could be that this king of pentacles might be the person that's offering you a job. So your luck is changing here. Now, taking a look at your next card, it is the wheel, the wheel of fortune. And it's coming in with a vengeance. I mean, look at at the bottom here. It's coming in whether you're ready or not. So if you've been down on your luck, the wheel is an indication that it's turning for the better. And it can also work vice versa. So always be appreciative and take full advantage when you have good luck and good fortune coming your way. But again, we have this number 10 energy. So something is changing. Certainly can be in regards to any number of things, Scorpio. This is a general reading. So it could be in regards to where you live, what you do for a living, how much money you make, relationships. So definitely there could be something wrapping up, finishing. You could be changing jobs. You could be ending a relationship. You could be moving house because you're moving towards change. And only you, Scorpio, are going to know if this change is going to be for the better or not. Kind of depends on your current situation. So let's pull a clarifying card for the wheel. The Six of Pentacles. Well, definitely could be in regards to financial flow, money coming in, money going out. Definitely can be tied to your first card, the Six of Chalices, as you're showing generosity and kindness to someone around you, people around you. You're helping them out, possibly in some manner. And then your efforts are being rewarded here. You're seeing the wheels showing up in your reading twice. So it can be about your, you're giving back, you're being rewarded this week. Something that you're doing is showing some very rewarding results for you this week, Scorpio. It's just creating that wonderful harmony and balance, that really satisfying, fulfilled feeling when you help someone out and they're so happy and appreciative. So now, Taking a look at the numerology for your three cards here, you have number 17, which reduces to eight. So there's abundance coming your way. And abundance isn't strictly financial, not always just money. It can be spiritual abundance, emotional abundance, and yes, financial abundance as well. 
Now your last card over here, tarot card, is kind of like a overall energy to your, your tarot cards for the week. You received the King of Swords. This is truth and clarity. And if you really look at your cards, both kings are looking back at your Six of Chalices card. You're showing some kind of kindness, generosity for others around you, and you're being rewarded this week, Scorpio. So very nice cards and energy here. Now let's take a look at your crystal for the week. Oops. Amethyst. Has to do with your third eye chakra. That is your perception, your intuition. And if there's one crystal you need to have, it's certainly amethyst. And that is what my tea light candle holder is, amethyst. A message that I'm picking up with you getting this particular crystal is that there could be something showing up next month, February. This is the birthstone for the month of February, amethyst. So there could be something that you're doing maybe this week that is really going to pan out for you in February. An indication as well, Scorpio, with this amethyst crystal, it's an indication that your intuition is very strong right now. So be sure to take notice of any intuitive feelings, ideas, signs, signals crossing your path. It's really a time to trust in that intuition because this is your inner self your spirit guides, your angels connecting with you, offering guidance and valuable insights for your life. So meditating with the amethyst crystal can help you to connect with your intuition, just calming your mind and tapping into your true authentic self, the core you, Scorpio. Not the Scorpio that has possibly been influenced by people in your environment. This is connected with your success, your, your um, kindness, your generosity with the Six of Chalices card. I feel that you're getting back to the basics, the core you this week, Scorpio. So if you do not have the Amethyst Crystal, this is one crystal that's worth having and meditating with on a daily basis to begin your day. Now, your last card here, this is an Oracle card for direction. You receive spirit of place. First glance at this card, yeah. Getting back to basics, having to do with nature. This is almost like spirit here watching over you through the different seasons. Now, when this card shows up in a reading, Scorpio, it's kind of an indication that the answers you're looking for are actually the theme of your circumstances. So what I mean by that is like an example would be if your question is about struggle, the answer would be to relax, let go, don't try to control the situation. Another example could be like if it's in regards to finding love, then just embody love, show it for others rather than longing for it. Kind of like finding the clarity, the truth within whatever you're trying to seek out. Because this week, Scorpio, your greatest power is your authenticity. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And if you wish a private tarot card reading, the links are listed below. Love and abundance to my Scorpio family.